Hey guys, and welcome to my first official Let's Play. Today I'm going to be doing Resident Evil for the PlayStation 2. Um, basically, if you never saw this game before, it's a spin-off of the main series where you are you have eight different characters all set in the top, all uh, trying to escape from Raccoon City around the events of uh, Resident Evil 2 and 3. So I'm just going to introduce our characters right now. Uh, okay, Kevin, who's a police officer, 31, he has a high quality magnet at the start. Mark, a security guard, who's 52, he has good with melee weapons apparently. Jim, who's a subway uh, staff, whatever his job entails, uh, he's 24 and will rarely be attacked by enemies, good for him. Uh, George, who's a doctor and 39, he can create many new types of medicines. Okay. Uh, David, who's a plumber and his age is unknown, mysterious, he can create new weapons using tools. Alyssa, who's a reporter and 28, she's a master of unlocking things, the master of unlocking, okay. Uh, Yoko, who's a student and 20, she can hold more items, as you can see she has a little backpack at the back, good for her. And Cindy, who's a waitress, who's 24, she can heal her friends, mm, sounds magical. Right, uh, I'm going to be starting with the first scenario, as you just saw, was Outbreak. Um, basically, I'm going to be trying to go through the scenarios from both file 1 and file 2 of, this, of these games, um, but I'm going to try and uh, play as a character for each scenario that relates to the story. Uh, um, so, in this particular scenario, Mark and Cindy, they both uh, relate to the story quite well in different ways, but I, th I did a, uh, a, l a quick little play test play with Cindy in this scenario, so I think I'm going to choose Mark today. Yeah. Yeah. He's happy about that. Okay, uh, partners, yes please. And I'm going to be going on a normal mode today. Just I might do a hard uh, scenario later, maybe. We'll see if I'm actually any good at recording this stuff. Okay, cutscene. Capcom. The opening music is brilliant, by the way. Nibbled to death by rats, that's not nice. Ooh.
so that was just like a little intro of how the uh, virus actually broke out. So basically the rats are actually infected with the virus and are nibbling on things and going out into the streets and basically infecting people. Good story. Okay, and here we are with our characters now at Jack's Bar. There was a disruption earlier at today's football match between the Raccoon Sharks and the Old Court Thunders. Apparently the game was interrupted when an unruly fan got out of control and sparked a riot. The number of injured is not yet known. Rat. Huh? No. <gasps> Aren't you eating anything? Hey, Bob, where's your mind at? What? Customer. Who is this guy? Damn it! He's unconscious. Are you <laughs> all right? Wrong subtitles again. What are you doing? <laughs> what the hell was that? Dangerous to stay here, let's get away. Right. Um, I'm going to equip my handgun that Mark has at the start. Every uh, character has a special item right there in that slot, and we also have the four extra slots for picking up items that we may find. Um, and my partners are Cindy and Kevin for this particular playthrough. Uh, all the false items. I couldn't even read that then. Okay, let's push this form a barricade. There's a gun on the table there as well. Just I don't know who's left that, and I don't know if you, even if you're allowed to leave that in America. Is that? I don't even know. Okay, he's got no head around him. Blood is gushing out of his throat. He looks really bad. Should have done his collar up then. God's sake. Uh, okay. Just a barrel. What happened to the tables? I thought there was tables, not stools, and not a barrel. Never mind. Let's pick up the extra gun. So I'll, so I'll give a barrel. One's enough. Uh, oh, let's give that to her. And it. Oh. I found it. Yeah, no, I found it. Nice plan. No! As if you just sit there. Thanks. All right. It's more like it. Um. Okay. Um, oh, what's this? Okay, staff and key. Um, let's try and get my friend out of here now. Shit. They're after us. Let's walk slowly. Do some shooting. A little bit busy. Right. Oh, what's this now? What's happening? And he's a zombie. I thought it was meant to take a long time to actually turn into zombies rather than, you know, just a quick change, like a changing your t shirt or something. <laughs> Don't mind. Oh, right, this must be the staff room then. Key. It was already freaking unlocked, she just went in there before I actually unlocked it. What the hell? Open it. 
only get me. Play manual. Uh, no. Oh, shit. Swings right there. Windows, door going, fuck. Too much going on. I didn't realize he was zombie down. Okay, uh, take him in here. To be safe. Uh, I'm only in this room. We have to go. Good. I agree. Yeah, I hate this place anyway. Will hey, hey. Alright. Clear. Yes. Sad face. Um, okay, I need to find some ammo or something because I'm going to run out very quickly. She's got eight bullets and I think Kevin's already shot a lot of his seven bullet gun. Refrigerator. Shit. Okay, get rid of the nail gun, it's useless to me now, there's nothing in it. Uh, keep your blue tan, okay. Oh shit, they're through already. Do some shooting. Two bullets left, she's got one. Ooh, this is going really well. I would explore some of the other rooms, but I don't really want to get uh, trapped or anything with loads of zombies. Especially with no little no ammo right now. Here! Uh-huh. over here. We're actually nearly at the 15 minute uh, limit. Okay, uh, well thanks for watching part one guys. Um, I'll be right back with part two so just stick around, okay? Thanks, goodbye.